Welcome, Flyers fans. You're listening to Chris Mayer, Flyers Fan Mania 93 on YouTube. All right, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris, and today I am back with another video here. A couple new things. As you see, I kind of changed the spot around. Um, I just did not like having my desk pretty much catty quartered in my room, and I just didn't like that. Uh, so I switched that up, um, added some stuff behind me, and also the new intro. Uh, that is some help from Jason Martinez. Jason, thank you uh, for doing the audio for that. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. So the final arbitration case of the NHL season, and finally, pretty much the last thing Chuck Fletcher had to do um, for the Flyers offseason this year here on the 21st. A few days before the last official day Sanheim could have signed, which would have been Wednesday the 25th, his, the date was the 26th um, for his last day there for the arbitration. So, uh, this is a tweet from Elliot Freeman that came at 4.40 p.m. Final arbitration case of the year is settled. Travis Sanheim and PHI Philadelphia uh, at two years with a $4.675 million AAV. So, two years, 4.6. Um, if I'm looking at the term, I think that's a solid term. I, I thought it, it either would have been two, two or three years. Uh, they probably would have walked him right to the start of the prime of his career, which is around the average is around 26, 27 um, years old for some players, uh, for most guys, I should say. Um, but as for the term, he does get a raise. His last contract was 3.25, um, so he goes up about 1.4 there in in, uh, in in you know dollar term. Um, but you know, for the most part. I like it, honestly. Um, I think Sanheim, I thought Sanheim was going to grow into that deal. I thought his max would have been four. I didn't think he would have gotten anything higher than 4.5, uh, but he's definitely betting on himself because he wants to m prove that he earns that money um, and that he, you know, shows that he is able to earn that money. Um, and again, I, I, you know, he had a really down year last year. A lot of guys did. And um, again, it's not picking on him. Uh, it's just with everything that happened last year and the way that you look at the team and you look at their defense, I think you still have to trust Fletcher in, in betting on his young players because we did that so much last year and it really just bit the Flyers back. Um, and now when you look at it, I think you still have to do that. You can't just not, you know, you can't be so worried about these guys and then not do anything and not pay them and all this stuff and just kind of get so worried about your younger players developing and things like that. No, like these guys are going to still develop. They're still going to play. Um, and regardless of how bad Sanheim was, um, this is a good tweet here from Jordan Hall. He said, very easy to forget that Travis Sanheim set career highs last season. Minutes per game, he had uh, 2153 um, was his average for uh, his average time on ice. Uh, and shorthanded minutes per game was two minutes and seven seconds. And then he pretty much moved all over. Um, and he said his fewest ever minutes uh, per game on the power play was 33 seconds for a full season. So Sanheim didn't play much power play or anything like that. Obviously, the Flyers were trying to change that stuff up um, a lot of, throughout the years. The lines and the power play and all that stuff was different. But um, again, Sanheim, he had a rough year. But again, I still think he's going to bounce back and have a, a really good year this year. I think he's going to just come out of the gate. Because again, he's getting at that point now where um, you know he's solidifying himself into an NHL top four, even though he already has. But he's getting to that point where he's getting into the prime of his career and he wants to continue to, you know, play better and be a uh, grow into that better defenseman that he can be. Um, as for the Flyers, it leaves them a little over um, 200, a little over 200,000 in cap. Um, $281,477 is their projected cap space right now per cap friendly. So they really don't have anything. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it, it's going to be exciting to see um, these last, you know, couple weeks here going up. We have development camp coming up this weekend. Uh, the, 28th um, to the first, so that should be very fun. There's a lot of fun stuff going on there. 29 players on that total roster. Um, if it is, if development camp is open to fans and things like that, I will be attending. I'm going to have some videos up from that, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts below on Travis Sanheim, and I will talk to you all again soon.